So today is real world test for the Starlink. So all I did was use the um, magnetic feet, run a external wire down. It is not perfectly up in here, but plug into the 12 volt. And that's how I'm gonna run for this test today out at the fox hunt. Um, I already had it fired up and was sharing passwords to friends. So we'll give it a real world, world test as we go. Hi everybody, I'm Nathan and I'm gonna make a different kind of video than I've ever made before today. So give me a little bit of grace and uh, let me know in the comments how I did and if I should continue this or not. But today I wanted to talk to you about Starlink Mini. And mainly I wanted to tell you the story of how I ended up sitting here with a Starlink Mini in front of me because there are tons of Starlink Mini and other Starlink products reviews all over YouTube and they are done far better than I will. However, as I did my research, I didn't find exactly what I wanted to know um, in my exact situation. So I decided to try and do something here. So I work from home and the first thing I did a couple years ago when I took my work from home job is I bought a Gen 3 Starlink for my motorhome and it's been awesome, works flawlessly. Uh, I've used it everywhere, no cell service, pouring rain, snowstorms. It's never missed a beat. And I have really enjoyed it. I've had, I was the first of my friends that had a Starlink, so everybody joined it. I wanted to see if it slowed it down or if it messed with the uh, uploads and everything. Nothing. It, it, all it's done is be perfect. So it was really hard for me to think about getting a different product because I had heard that the minis were a little bit less. The antennas work better with the one that I have and it makes sense. This one's meant for driving down the road and having internet instead of being at camp and having internet. So I didn't know if it was really worth the money to buy one or not. When they came down to $299, apparently that was my price and, and, I, and I pulled the trigger. I have some friends that have them already and so I'd seen them a little bit but I still wasn't sold. I watched a ton of videos from Nate at Outdoor Auto and he's got great information, extremely well researched. This video is not extremely well researched. This is just stories and anecdotal evidence of when I got my stuff. Um, this is, I, I've only had it for about two days, so it's not like I have a ton of test time on this. However, all I've been doing for the last two days is messing around with Starlink Mini and seeing if it will do what I want it to do. So I hope you enjoy some of this and I'll show you some things. There are tons of accessory videos out there. I don't even have my case yet. It hasn't shown up. So um, I'm not going to cover accessories a ton. I have bought a couple things that I will put in the link for you as well as a refer code where if you decide you want a Starlink, you can get a month free off of the code that I will put in the comments. The setup for Starlink is awesome. You basically unbox the stupid thing, plug it in, and point it at the sky, and that's as hard as it is. When I got my first one, I thought it was going to be difficult and involved, and I wasn't exactly sure how to do it. It was nothing, and with the gen, or excuse me, with the uh, mini, same thing. Not a big deal at all. You basically plug it in the first time and have to name your uh, Wi-Fi and choose a password and that type of stuff. So. When we got the Starlink in the motorhome, we always called the motorhome our Malibu house because if you're watching a movie, the Richie Riches are like, oh, we're going to the Malibu house for this weekend. We don't have a Malibu house. We have a motorhome. So the motorhome became our Malibu house. So when I named the Starlink in it, I called it the Malibu house. And it made sense that with the Mini, then this is the Malibu Mini. So naming that part was not hard for me. You pick your own password, which I'm not going to tell you what that one is. But uh, setup is pretty simple. I tried it out in my pickup first, and so I'm going to show you how I basically just rednecked it into my pickup. Um, I didn't take video of all the testing I did with it. I'm just going to kind of talk you through it and show you where I mounted it and how it ended up. And it's it it worked great. And again, setup is not a problem with Starlink. It's super easy stuff.
So the first redneck thing I did to test my Starlink Mini is I stuck it in the sunroof of my pickup and closed the little slider on it and then went and drove around and just left wires hanging everywhere. One thing that I'm trying to do with this, cause I have several rigs that I want to use the mini in. That was kind of the whole purpose in me getting it uh, is so I could transfer it. I don't want to hard mount a ton until I figure out an exact way I want to wire it with the fittings that I want and everything. So I'm kind of trying to slow that down a little bit and not get ahead of myself. With that idea, all I did, I bought the uh, $45 uh, deal from Starlink that just plugs into 12 volt. Right now I've got plenty of cable laying around. And this by far worked the absolute best of all my testing on um, uh, of early on. By far, this setup of all the ones I'm going to show you worked the best because it's flat and it's pointed out through the sunroof. Um, apparently, Starlink goes through glass like no problem. Uh, once I started playing with the uploads and downloads and driving around, I would get anywhere between 35 and 300 mega, megabytes of upload. So it just varies which direction you're pointing and if you're moving or if you're at a stoplight. I actually made myself go drive up above Emmett and get up where there's no cell service. And I had everything on. I took my work computer with me and I graded and worked on some uh, schoolwork stuff I needed to do up there. I had a FaceTime call with my wife, just testing things out. And while I sat there and did all my work, I had an average of probably 180 on the on the download side. So it works awesome. It does what it needs to. Sometimes I have to have uh, Google Meets and Zooms and meetings like that. And I was able to do all those things that I needed to with this setup. Um, eventually, I will figure out a more permanent solution. But as far as testing, this worked awesome. The next redneck test I did, I bought this adapter off Amazon. It was a cheap little Milwaukee battery adapter. I used a 5.0 battery. All it does is plug on, or excuse me, slide that in, plug it in, and you're running. Uh, I wanted to test and see what how long I got out of this. I then, in a highly uh, sophisticated mounting situation, just stuck it on my roll bar and stuck it out the front right there and let that sit right there. And I went for a drive and I was gone for about two hours um, in driving around town. I actually went over to Outdoor Auto Shop and ordered Jeep parts off of my own Starlink. And it ran for right at two hours. Again, obviously, since it's just sitting there poking out the front right there, it doesn't do a very good job as far as I was down to less than 100 of download speeds a lot of the time. But if I was driving north, it worked really well. And luckily, it was a north-south trip for me. So part of the way, it didn't work very well at all. But the way home, it worked really good. Um, however... It, it, the battery was what I was testing as much as anything. And with a 5.0 battery, it ate about half of it in two hours. So I had read that with this uh, uh, setup I got that you could run about four or five hours off of a 5 or a 6.0 battery. I think that's probably true. I'll have to test that out a little bit more to find out. The real world test for the side-by-side -side is going to come this weekend. I have not tested it on this, but I am going to an event this weekend 
That's why I keep mentioning my mount that hasn't shown up yet because I'm manifesting it to show up here today so that I can get it mounted. Uh, it comes with the little magnetic sticky things uh, that I can put on this aluminum roof and I'm going to run it up there. I'll mount it down as low as I can when I get to it um, so that it will be out of the way of brush and stuff that'll hit it. Um, and then I'll run it down. I have power up there on a cigarette lighter. Or I'm gonna try to use the USB. I'm not sure which um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna see, play with those and see if there's a difference in the power. And then I'll just run that cord around. But as you can see, I've got several rigs and that was part of my deal with the Starlink Mini is I don't wanna hard mount everything until I know exactly what I wanna do so that I can use the same ends on things and how I'm gonna get power everywhere. But I kinda of need to uh, real world test this a little bit and figure out what I wanna do with it. But having the Milwaukee battery to use um, uh, on the adapter is really gonna help the situation around camp where I can just pull it out, set up that, and now I have it in whatever rig I have at camp and I can move it between everything and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna power all of it. As far as accessories go for the Starlink Mini, there are a lot of really good videos out there, like Nate's at Outdoor Auto. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with it, but I knew I wanted an M18 adapter. This was $31 on Amazon. I'll put this link in the, in the description, or in the, uh, uh, comments. I like this one because it's not very bulky. Some of the ones I looked at were bulky and kind of big and the battery is already big so I liked the size of this one. It's a little bit cheapish feeling but I think you know they're pretty simple concepts so I think it'll hold up hopefully. If not like I said they were only 30 it was only $31. Um, they make them for yellow tools also. I'm a Milwaukee guy, so you know you kind of have to make a choice when you're born which house you go into, and I went into the Milwaukee house. But they do make it for yellow tools also. Um, the mount that I bought that I keep mentioning is the Veritas Vans mount. As I did the research for this, it looked like the very best mount and the most universal. Um, I bought it with the magnet ends so that I can move it between everything and just put it on roofs. My side-by-side -side has an aluminum roof, so I'll use the metal pucks that it comes with, and I wanna get that all mounted up and see how it works this weekend. It was like $150 on Amazon. I have heard they are cheaper at other places, but the places I was told to look, I couldn't find them. So if you know where to find them, tell me in the comments so that I can know where to point people to cheaper ones than the one I bought. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff. I'm not sponsored by anything. This is my own money and my own things uh, that I try to do the best I can and buy the stuff that will work for me. Um, but uh, let's see, what else did I buy? Uh, I have another power adapter coming with the Veritas Band stuff. Their stuff is really, really slick, and I know there are lots of reviews out there on it. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely go check that out. I wanna say thank you for tuning in and seeing my review of the Starlink Mini. Review's kind of a loose term. It's more just anecdotal evidence of things that I have thought or bought as I uh, started down into this. I think it is worth it, yes, spending the money on this uh, when I already have my other Starlink system. This is definitely going to give me more flexibility and do something different than the other one did. So again, that's why I wanted to make this video was I didn't see anybody who exactly addressed that question of, is it worth it to do this when you already have the other? Since you can pause the subscriptions, um, I can just pause the one in my motorhome, which is $5 a month, and use this subscription uh, when I want to do that and then vice versa. So I'm not, I, I don't feel like I'm outside of the hardware that it's too much uh, of a monetary investment. I like to wheel and that's usually what my videos entail is wheeling, but I like products that help me wheel more effectively or that I believe in. When I took my remote job, one of the reasons I took it is so that I could do a lot more wheeling. And 
Uh, I can go work during the day and then I can wheel in the afternoons and at night and on the weekends. And so this definitely fits the bill so that I can do my work and still be effective and make money so that I can afford to put gas into my rigs. Again, this was a different type video for me. If you liked it, didn't like it, have feedback for me, have questions, but maybe this raises a question about Starlink Mini, please put that stuff in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. And I appreciate you guys watching this. And thanks for being here. Peace out, party people. Have a great day.